I'm working on this 1957 Bowens again. Just got a few cosmetic things to do. It runs and drives well. Starts good. These tractors did have some front mount attachments. Your attachment would fit into slots on the front of the frame and be held on by a hook that's located underneath the engine. That's what this piece is with the big washer on it. That's not supposed to be like that. So I'm going to take that apart. I need to see if that shaft is original. And I'll see if I got the right parts to go on there. That looks like the correct threaded rod coming out of there. And it's spring loaded upward like the other ones I've seen. So that looks normal. So here's a knob off of a different tractor. Originally the knob should have been green. But somebody painted that whole tractor red that I got this from. I think you push down on that to hook your implement and then tighten the knob to hold your implement in place. It don't look too bad being red. I think I'll leave it because I don't think I can get a good looking match to that Bowen's green paint. Next I want to get this front trailer ball off of here. The rear trailer ball is on a removable hitch. And this is the latch for your hitch. It has a cam on it that fits down in there and grabs it. The hitch will have a cutout in it. And that's what locks it in place. This part of the hitch goes up and down with the lift lever on the side. So you can raise and lower your implement. I'm going to start taking these bolts out and get it apart. Alright, you're on the ground looking up now. And this is the lower bolt to that same part. I have to get it from down here. This big bolt directly under the axle is the pivot point for the hitch. Normally that hitch would drop right through there, but with the trailer ball welded on there, I'm going to have to disconnect the front first. I don't know if you could tell due to the camera angles, this is the way those parts went together in there. When those bolts are in there, this back section can pivot sideways. 
and when you move the lift lever this whole hitch pivots on that bolt just under the axle All right, let's see what happened. That's about as good as you could expect. It's got the original surface on top there. You can see where the weld melded into the sides a little bit. I think I'll leave that. And I probably won't paint it. Just smear some old grease on it or something.
That looks better without the trailer ball. Looks almost like it's supposed to. I see the scallop in this hitch is flame cut. So that might be a homemade hitch. I don't know if Bowens would have made it that way. On other tractors like this I've had, this piece here could swing up and down. But this one's tight. And there's a washer on this one side. I'm going to take the washer out. That way this piece will move down. And that's when the hitch is allowed to swing side to side. There's a sleeve inside of this tube here. And that allows it to move even when the bolt's tight. I think that's the way it's supposed to work. You flip it up if you don't want your hitch to swing and you lower it if you do. Alright, there's something that needs done back here. Because you don't want to get your butt rusty when you're cruising around at a tractor show. Well, I'm going to spray this with WD-40, just like I do with all of my tractors that don't have a good paint job. It slows down the surface rust, and it gets rid of that dry, light brown, rusty look. After a few weeks, it'll evaporate, and it won't look shiny anymore. A few more comments about this part. I have a few other tractors like this that I could have swapped parts with, but they've all been repainted. And I can't duplicate that Bowen's green color. Back here you can see where something has been cut off. There used to be a strap that would go up and over this part and connect on the other side. It was high enough that that flat plate can flip underneath it. And I think they cut it off so they could use that trailer ball I just removed. So I'm not going to try to fix that. This is a copy of an early brochure of Bowen's products. One thing pictured on the front is a ride -a tractor. This is the first ride -a tractor they made, and it had a 3.6 horsepower Kohler. When you open it up, that's the only tractor shown, and I believe that was the only one available in 1956. So I think this is a 1956 brochure. I'm just going to page through here so you can see the rest of it. This is a copy of another Bowens brochure. 
This one only covers the Ride-O-Matic tractors. The front page features a Ride-O-Matic with the 3.6 horsepower Kohler engine. Easily recognizable by the air cleaner coming out of the hood. On the inside here they show two tractors. There's the Ride-O-Matic with the 3.6 horsepower engine on the left and the Super Ride-O-Matic with the 6.6 .6 horsepower engine on the right. Notice the Super Ride-O-Matic don't have the air cleaner coming out of the hood. I think this brochure must be a 1957 and apparently both tractors were available. In 1958 the front grille changed it was larger without the round logo in the center. At the bottom of these pages they show the implements that were available. And this is the back page showing the Boland's Ridemaster tractor and some of its implements. Well that about wraps it up on this one. If I do anything else with it, it'll just be a clean up and degreasing because I don't plan on repainting it. I do have to wait for the WD-40 to dry up before I take it to any tractor shows. Alright, that's it.